a warm welcome to all the listeners. Listen to the Blue Horse. Dr. CKN is in conversation with Pooja. I'm sure you'll enjoy this session and I'm sure it's going to be some food for your thought. Good evening everybody. It's a lovely evening in Chennai. It's raining and very rarely we have good weather. I hope you guys have listened to the last and our first podcast session last last week and uh, you understood what Dr. Nandu Kumar CKN as we call him Nandu I call him Nandu I hope you 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 are convinced that he knows what he is talking about um now today we are going to talk about one of the basic necessities that every living life needs food and the most confused aspect today because i don't know what is right to eat what is wrong to eat because we have new fads coming up every day i truly don't know so let's start with what dr nandu thinks about food dr cken what are your thoughts to start you you you, you want to know what food is all about yes because i'm confused you're confused yes why i don't know you have abundance is. of information around you on food Uh, and you don't know which one to pick it up correct which is right which is not which one to pick it up everybody has an opinion okay you should listen to, you should listen to this hmm. this is where i this is where that my qualification come into play okay very simple okay if you go to astrophysics hmm. the human body is been studied in astrophysics and they were found hmm. that only six major atoms are there in the human body oh only 1% is hundreds and thousands of other components Okay. These six major atoms are oxygen, yeah, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, yeah. calcium, and phosphorus. Okay, ninety-nine percent. Out of which the oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon is ninety-two percent. Wow. So our human cells are called the carboribose. Okay. What is carbohydrate? You know, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen one to one ratio. Right. Abundantly produce molecule on earth. This is the basic biochemistry lesson. Mm. See, if you take a glucose, mm-hmm. six carbon atoms. 12 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms mm-hmm. make a make a glucose mm-hmm. which is a carbohydrate right yeah. carbon hydrogen and oxygen one to one ratio c6h12o6 mm-hmm. is the molecular formula right so 92% of your body is carbohydrate if you see all the plant kingdom mm-hmm. every animal they are also carboribose plant kingdom so called cellulose they are also carbohydrates okay because they are structural material they call cellulose we don't our digestion system has no capacity to digest it but animals have Uh, I mean, what we can't digest. They can eat all the branches and the leaves ah. and all. You don't eat. You cannot digest. So we can't have greens. I mean, salads. You can have greens a little bit. Hmm. But we take the yield. Hmm. We don't eat the plant. Right. Okay. In a brinjal, you don't eat the plant. Right. Right. You you take the brinjal. Right. Okay. Understood. Now, for ninety two percent of your carboribose, the nature has created carbohydrate out there because that's your energy fuel. Hmm. Every cell need glucose to function. The glucose gets converted to adenosine triphosphate at the mitochondria. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a high high energy currency to drive your DNA and RNA mm-hmm. where the genomes are there. Okay. Okay. Now you say you are confused. What am I supposed to eat? I know. I'm like, where right. do I go into glucose and carbohydrate? I'm like, how about rice and burgers and pizza or salads? See, carbohydrates are four of them. You know, mm. they are they are four major categories. Mm-hmm. They are they called the monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, and uh, polysaccharide. Yeah. Saccharide is a Greek word for sugar. Correct. So the basic building blocks are single molecules. Mono means single. Yeah. Glucose, galactose, and fructose. Wow. The disaccharide are two. Di means two. Glucose plus glucose, if they are bonding with each other, it's called the maltose. Yes, you've lost me. Glucose and galactose <laughs> are bonding together. It's called lactose found in milk. Okay. Glucose and fructose bonding with each other is called sucrose sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Mm. Oligosaccharides are those plant which cannot produce starch. Okay. They produce components called oligosaccharide, which is 15 to 20 glucose sticking with each other in a linear chain of one to four glycosidic bonding. Okay. You know what is one to four glycosidic bonding? No. If two glucose are sticking to each other, mm-hmm. the first carbon of the first glucose out of the six carbon mm-hmm. out of the six carbon atom, mm-hmm. the first carbon atom of the first glucose is bonding with the fourth carbon atom of the second glucose. And how is this? Is it good? It's is called it one to four glycosidic bonding. They are bonded with each other. Okay. okay. Is that good for us? Bad for us? No, 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 no. This is the structure of the molecule. Right. As a disaccharide carbohydrate. Okay. Maltose is glucose plus glucose. Yeah. One glucose is sticking to another glucose. Right. Okay. Okay. Now oligosaccharide is those plants which cannot produce. They produce linear chain of glucose only fifteen to twenty of them. Okay. Polysaccharide is the starch material. Hmm. Hundreds and thousands of glucose bonding with each other. Hmm. They are divided into amylose and amylose pectin sandwich. Mm-hmm. Rice, wheat, alu. Ah. They are all uh, thousands of uh, uh, glucose sticking with each other. Okay. 
so your 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 rice and wheat and all the grains and all that you know uh-huh. they are nothing other than glucose glucose so everything is sugar yes okay so which you sugar? you 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 think you think if i'm going to stay away from sugar that i'm not going to you know uh, stay uh, i'm really staying away from sugar no never <laughs> you know 300 grams of sugar uh-huh. is used for every kg of the tomato ketchup they make Yeah, yeah. And green chili, the red chili sauce also. Three hundred gram of one kilo of green chili and red chili sauce is sugar. Chili sauce. Yeah. God damn. Three percent of sugar is used in bread and bun. Yeah, yeah. And more than twenty percent of sugar is used in biscuits. Yes. Fifty percent of sugar is made in uh, used in jam. Correct. Forty to fifty percent of sugar is made in all confectioneries. Yeah, processed food. But does the natural food, like you said, the natural existing form also has sugar, right? All our grains and everything. Look, sugar is glucose from fructose. Okay. Mm. Glucose and fructose share the galactose. They are the three building blocks. They they share the same formula. Okay. C6 H12 O6. Then what? How they are different from each other? So how is it? Which is harmful? Which is not? Fructo. No, it, it, it's not a question of harmful at all. There is no question of harm here. I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Glucose mm-hmm. is C6 H12 O6. Galactose, the fourth carbon atom, will be pointing down. Okay. Unlike glucose. Mm. In a fructose, the sixth carbon in glucose is in a linear chain. Okay. Uh, in, in, it, it is in a open chain form. Mm. Okay. Mm. And In in fructose, five member carbon atoms will form a ring. One will be outside. Okay. You can go and see the picture. Okay. The net. I'm still waiting on how is it. Okay, wait. Glucose will be identified by the body. Okay. That it is my energy source. Right. Body will not recognize fructose, okay. even though it's actually a C six H twelve O six. Okay. So fructose means harm for us. Ah. Whereas liver can metabolize whatever that you eat, which goes into your stomach through your dental area. Mm-hmm. Through the food pipe, crossing the esophagus. Mm-hmm. Then once it is processed in the stomach, when it goes to the lumen of the intestines, mm-hmm. whatever get absorbed there mm-hmm. by the lumen of the intestine mm-hmm. can cannot go anywhere. There is a there is a vein called portal vein connecting the smaller intestine and your liver. It okay. can only come to the liver. Liver will scan it and then only send it to the brain, main bloodstream. Okay. So. Liver cells alone, they are about 240 billion cells make a liver. Wow! They can metabolize fructose. Okay. They can they 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 attach a phosphate group to it. Ah, uh, they make it phosphate one six and then you know absorb it, mm-hmm. uh, convert it to ATP molecule and uses the rest of the body. Mm. Out of you 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 are built with 100 trillion cells. Mm. It's only 240 billion cells make a liver. Wow! Okay. Mm. Other than these 240 billion cells, the rest of the other body mm. will not identify this guy. Okay. So most of it, forty forty percent of fructose gets converted to uric acid. Okay. Okay. When this uric acid gets crystallized mm-hmm. in, in in the kidneys, that's what is kidney stone. Ah. Okay. So. So this is this is a this is a nephrological side. You can you can you can you can go towards that. Mm-hmm. So the more of fructose you take, mm-hmm. the more of uh, you know uh, lactate, lactic acid, so many things like triglycerides. So where where is fructose found in a regular diet? Like how? What are the ones? See, from 1970, see, fructose was identified in the year 1947. Okay. By uh, 1847, mm-hmm. in 1847, first they identified fructose mm-hmm. uh, by Agustin Pierre, a French scientist. Okay. But 10 years later, in 1857, a chemist called William Miller, a British guy. Uh-huh. Who coined the word fructose? Mm. If you're going to look at the carbohydrate science, everything will be ending with OSC. The words glucose, mm-hmm. galactose, fructose, you know, lactose, mm-hmm. maltose, sucrose, raffinose, ribose, sedoheptylose, mm-hmm. idose, mannose, xylose. Right? You know, mm-hmm. OSC will mm-hmm. be ending. Mm-hmm. There are so many sugar molecules are there. Mm. But then fructose was the challenge in the last 50 years, from 1970 to 220. 50 years, long years. a uh, huge amount of research was have been done on fructose it's a world challenge okay uh if you go to the internet you go to the youtube you can see robert lustig is one of the very keen guy mm-hmm. uh, a big scientist who worked a lot on fructose what's happening inside and the body when the fructose loads go sick mm. okay all right and then finally uh, they could not do anything to it so where is I this was the found? first guy in the world mm. to diffuse glucose uh, fructose in sugar in sugar yeah I changed it to carboxyaldehyde, almost to glucose. Oh, and why? Is it that? was a Nobel paper. Ah, but then I'm an Asian. You know? Okay. I couldn't find my passage. What does that mean? I don't want to reveal the uh, intricacies of it, but I stayed away from it. 
Oh, mystery. Yeah. Uh, is this patented? Can I don't patent? believe in patenting. Patenting okay. is a nonsense of uh, exercise in my book. Okay. You are not supposed to own anything. Right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. What is this warning? If you if you if you patent, it is stolen. I thought I thought it was a form of protection of of good things. On the books, yes. Okay. Not inside the book. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to patent things. Okay. Okay. Now this is where the molecular science come into play. Mm -hmm. Which you are an expert. Without touching mm -hmm. the aesthetic appearance of the sugar, mm -hmm. without doing any you know physical damage to the sugar, mm -hmm. the aesthetic appearance, without disturbing the color, without changing the smell, mm -hmm. you play with the molecule. How? And that's technology. And that's where the ancients were so powerful. In technology. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you tell me now, in which university I should go and qualify to do this job? When the Wright brothers moved the first plane in 1905, mm -hmm. there was no word called civil aviation. There was no word called aviation engineering. Correct. So you want to turn around and ask the Wright brothers, where have you qualified to fly a plane? Not really, but today there That's is. That's what happens when Margoni found the you know found the first radio. But you're talking the word about the radio first. was never there. No. You're talking about ancient. I'm. I'm not Look, questioning the ancient. I'm talking wisdom. about the concept. No, I'm talking about today's world. T today's world, or yesterday's world, or tomorrow's <laughs> world. When you're going to come out with something new, mm -hmm. when the entire you know qualified people could not reach it. How did you? Then, then the qualification stands nothing. It is no meaning. Yeah. I want you to understand that. No qualification. Hare, yaar, come on. <laughs> it was the last I, session. This, you this cannot stretch it. This is what the last conversation no, I said. No, no. This today you're we're talking about you're food. You're going to stick to books. Food. You're going to stick to books. Not really. No, no, no. As the long people as you produce The curriculum is based on books. Hmm. And you study book after book after book after book. Hmm. And then you go and vomit in an exam. Then they'll give you a certificate. <laughs> Then you go and work as a professor. Then again, you will, you know, make other people warm with the same book. And you give certificate. This is what goes on. Food is something which is very important. Yes, very basic. The maximum contact between a human body and the outside world is food. Oh. Food, man. How? That's that's what come in. <laughs> right, okay. That's what come in. Basically, mm. food and water is the same. Okay. See, you take a glass of rice. Mm. And you boil them. And you get so much of rice. What is that? It's water. Ah, yeah, yes. So that was the thing, you know. I was recently talking to a very good, uh, very well-known chef. Now, I, with all the dieting, with all the exercise and everything and health habits and stuff, we were talking about millets, which is good, which is no, not. No, millet is not good. Absolutely. I will tell you now. Yeah. Every, see, there is food science. There is advanced food science in all those kind of areas. Mm. They mess up the whole thing by giving wrong information. Why are these fat No, I will tell you what you are supposed to do. Mm. Every human being on the, whichever corner you are living, mm. I will tell you what is food. Mm. What is, what should be your food? Mm. And what you should practice. Mm. Simple. From the time you are born yeah. till the age of 18 to 20 till the time you have grown. Mm. Whatever you have eaten mm. is the food for the rest of your life. Then why you is... Know, only at the age of 35, uh -huh. you, if, you, if you're going to enter yourself, you know, I'm going to have oats in the morning. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely bullshit. <laughs> why is all this health fad, I mean the diets and everything catching up then? If, if it, Okay, I'm not saying you are See, right people and have gone wrong. crazy. They don't understand anything. That's because of the reason your curriculum. Your curriculum has divided things. Right. So I go study my basic schooling. Mm -hmm. Then I get into college and I do biochemistry. Mm. And then I qualified higher and higher and I do a lot of works in biochemistry. Mm. You go, you finish your schooling. <laughs> you go and study food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. <coughs> in food and nutrition, they don't teach about biochemistry. Right. So you talk about, you, you, you go and you get qualified. Then you go to advanced food science, all that kind of thing. Mm. The biochemistry people have done enormous works, mm. which you don't know. You simply come out with something. Feet or diet. Yeah. How is that? Feet or diet. How about If you are going to load yourself with protein, uh -huh. you are going to make your blood acidic. Right. You are gone. Oh. It's very clearly from the biochemistry side that I have measured that only 0.8 grams of protein required for every kg of your body weight. Okay. Say if you 60 kilos, uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, you need only about uh, 48 grams of uh, a protein which is very much available in your vegetables. You don't need to take even pulses and lentils. In vegetables? Yeah. Wow. The point here is in, in modern science mm -hmm. is it's so funny. Once you have eaten, mm -hmm. once it's processed, once it's absorbed in the lumen, once it's processed the portal, come to the liver and gets can come out to the main blood stream. Mm -hmm. Modern science have no idea 
what is the conversion happening to that food? Okay. So you're one thing. So basically, what you study is you take 100 grams of cauliflower okay. and then you know try to analyze it. And so much of protein is there, so much of carbohydrate is there, so Macros. much of trans fat is there, huh. so much of this thing is there, so much of potassium is there, niacin is there, iron is there. Good, 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 good. That's all. But what happens when it goes inside? So it behaves differently. Does it? Does See, the for example, get converted? the body is in need of iron. Mm. A lot of calcium is coming in your food. Mm. You don't need so much of calcium. Mm. The body will convert the excess calcium into iron and take and go. Oh, it can? It's alchemy. Oh, wow. When are you going to study all that? In which curriculum it is available? So what do we do? Regular people? Regular people, what do you do? You eat whatever you have eaten till they see. This, this human body, hmm. now they are studying in the last 30 years about microbiome. Okay. What is microbiome? Microbiome is a microorganisms. In our body? Hmm. Which makes us? 100 trillion cells make your human body. Hmm. Right? Mm. For each cell, you have 200 to 500 microorganisms. Say, for example, in your body, mm. in each cell, there are 300 microorganisms are living inside. Mm. Your body is not only built with 100 trillion cells, your body is also built with 100 into 300 trillion microorganisms. Wow. Now, sometime back, I said, why should you not take oats at the age of 35? Mm. Because it's the microorganisms are the integral part of the human body, they are called the florals. Yeah. Flora. Flora. Yeah. Fauna. Every part of the body has its own, you know, brain has got the brain flora. They are not one species, they are number of species. Your dental area has got about 800 species are these all of microorganisms. Everybody, I mean, does the medical fraternity know all these species? Has it all been decoded? Do they know how they work? How they, they, are, they are working hard to understand. Okay. You can go and see Russell Jaffe. Okay. R-U-S-S-E-L-L-J-F-F-E. Okay. It's called, it's studied under the microbiome, mm -hmm. the gut flora. Mm. The gut is your stomach. Yes. There are a lot of lactobacillus bacteria are there, of many types. Mm. Your stomach is not grinding food alone. The microorganisms inside are processing your food. Mm. Now the stomach is called the bioreactor. Okay. Mm. Like a nuclear reactor. Yeah. Wow. And if these microorganisms are only known to the food, what you have eaten from the time you are born to the age of 18, 20, mm -hmm. suddenly if you are going to send in hoods, it is like some fight for... 40, 50 Nigerians are walking inside your house. <laughs> right. How will you feel? Does this, uh, These microorganisms will be helpless. They can just stand and watch. Ah. They don't process. Oh, now, oh. now watch doesn't belong to Chennai. <clears throat> watch is grown in New Zealand, in some part of Australia, Canada, Russia, Spain, cold countries, Scandinavia. Right. Watch is not yours. Your food is supposed to be those nature's gift around you, say 200 square kilometers or 500 square kilometers. Mm. Your area, whatever is growing in your area is your food. But now that there if is If you no want to go and live with, you know, suddenly in this age, I'm, if I'm going to take you huh. in 24 hours and leave you with the Eskimos in the green land, mm. you can't eat what they're eating, you'll puke. <laughs> yes. You're but gone. We don't have cultivation happening like earlier, right? Around us. Cultivation of what? Whatever general food, now everything is imported or everything is bought from here or there. It's See, you know, the problem up, is right? food. The problem with the food is it's you know you know people are not knowing what to eat, what not to eat. Yeah, and what is processed, what is not. Now the chef was also. If you are not going, to, if you are not going to eat carbohydrate, people have no understanding. See, I'll tell you something. Mm. Right from the day you are born, you are used to sugar. Yeah. And you just cannot stay away from sugar. At the age of forty-five, you say, "I'm going to stop sugar." You're mad. Mm. The human cells will long for it. Okay. They want it because they're used to it. Oh. Okay, if you, I'm not asking you to eat excess sugar. 30 grams of sugar, 40 grams of sugar is minimum required for the human body because they are the instant energy. Mm. Energy. Yeah, instant energy is sugar. Mm. Because the, 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 the starch material, the hundreds, hundreds and thousands of glucose in the linear chain of, you know, uh, polysaccharide, mm. what comes through our uh, uh, basic grains and uh, aloos and all that, mm. it, is, uh, it is a complicated carbohydrate. And millets is not your food. You have not eaten millets when you are young. Yeah. Now, if you take tinai, huh. I don't know what you call it in English, tinai. Tinai is the most dense material on earth. I think fox it is, tail. Uh, it, is, it is those, you know, who, who should eat it? Those who work under the sun from morning till night. Yeah. So, this is what even the, the chefs were you saying. You cannot digest at all. I was I was surprised. People, I mean, they are the ones who cook and, and see, what I'm saying is all of you know. See, it's business. Don't it's commercialism. Think? It's business. It's commercialism. There's one famous industry. So, how does... How does one, one famous business house in India. Mm -hmm. I don't want to name it. Mm -hmm. You know, 
there are millions and millions and millions and tons of salt is produced on the coastal areas of every part of the world mm. so yeah you know a, a, a good amount of it is used for our cooking yeah and major amount of it is used for industries like they use salt for many plants many processing okay big big uh, mechanized plants of chemical plants and all that stuff they they need uh, sodium chloride okay okay they they use they don't use it in their process they use it as a supporting material mm. and then they junk it mm, mm. so there was one big business group in india mm. they are in every field mm. they are in the chemical field they were using you know hundreds and thousands of tons of uh, sodium chloride which is produced mm. you know by the coastal areas mm. and then once it, it is over they go and uh, throw it where i don't know uh, throw, throw it in one part in one part of the sense like they they had an area where they go and dump it dump it huh. one uh, that chemical division of this business house on a new md had come mm-hmm. he was going through the data and said why uh, why you throwing so much of tons of salt every day every uh, month every year mm. bring in a sample okay of the thrown one mm-hmm. send it to the lab and just test it mm. is it is it useful for eating you know use it for cooking again oh my god they said everything is fine little bit of uh, iodine is small that's all call the government <laughs> give them everything okay oh and you know make a propaganda you have to eat only iodized salt mm-hmm. that is the birth of your iodized salt how what is the connection iodized salt how what is the benefit or yeah, the this thing when you are when your iodine is less mm. your thyroxine level will go down thyroid okay so you get goiter oh okay so they said that you you must eat iodized salt millions and millions of years human beings have lived with the sea salt rock salt mm. which is not iodized no mm. see you need a little bit of iodine very very small in uh, mm mm-hmm. and uh, milligrams mm-hmm. and that's very much available in your food yeah. you don't need to take you need you don't need to take iodized salt extra no mm. you don't need to take first of all this human body mm. it, it it works at the subatomic level of movements of electrons and proton mm. whatever we have studied with the help of modern science so far is not even 5% wow whether you believe it or not mm. you can't go anywhere near it if you are really interested in knowing about all these things you must go to the youtube and ask for quantum biology Quantum, quantum physics and quantum mechanics. Mm. It's, a, it's it's in, in that area they look at the uh, uh, quantum uh, uh, biology. Mm-hmm. What happens inside wow. at the electron and proton level? Right. So uh, Dr. Jack Cruz is one of the guys who's been working. He's in uh, uh, he's now he's living in Arizona in U.S. in the southern part of U.S. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, he he talks about he, he does a lot of research in the last thirty years about quantum biology. Mm-hmm. it talks about a lot of about uh, leptin also now uh, lpt and leptin hormone produced by the fat molecules of the body mm-hmm. and uh, he is also uh, a guy who uh, uh, worked with this food and nutrition okay and uh, there is one of the interesting uh, presentation of him is uh, how the birds are navigating without the uh, you know visual effect mm-hmm. they, they can't see down mm-hmm. how they navigate Mm-hmm. and then land precisely mm-hmm. uh which talks about the geomagnetic field yeah with which we are connected correct and how much of electrons is uh, you know getting uh, from the earth pumped into your body through your through your sole of the feet so is asking you now to walk without chapel bare feet i heard that but where yeah. are we doing it they are exercising that now they are they are insisting that we don't even they are very sand. very interesting about he talks a lot about the microbiom part of the body mm-hmm. so what do we do but taking lot of wrong things especially the pharmacology if you go to russell jaffe he say uh, there's a program called pharmacology and physiology mm-hmm. so in that year i explained that without understanding the physiology we have gone far ahead with pharmacology destroying the microbiome of the body mm. is there any form of restoring if it is destroyed already with all the confusion that we are going through uh, if you take a round of antibiotic you're going to you know destroy nearly one third of the lactobacillus of the gut area Which? but it will take 6 months for the body to rebuild it, it can. if it doesn't rebuild mm. then you're permanently sick oh no probiotic will help you okay probiotic cannot be in terms of pills probiotic can be only in terms of food mm. any fermented food is a probiotic okay the ancients were too good in designing that kind of types of food mm. with with their art supreme art called the art of cooking art of cooking one of is one of the very elaborate science all right it is to detoxify your food and make your food interesting hmm. you are supposed to eat steaming hot food which we do moment do. you cook yeah you cannot eat the cooked food after few hours so 
there is like no escape it depends on how you're going to take care of yourself mm-hmm. you know it depends on how you're going to uh, you know really nourish yourself yeah like for a working person like now i go early in the morning at which time i even if i want to take cooked food from home it still is taken after a few hours you know it's not it's not like as fresh which is which is i'm talking about at least 80% of the community these days how many people have the luxury to have food cooked right then and have and and eat very very rare this is where my qualification come into play mm-hmm. you breakfast you have it hot yeah the cooked food which you're going to carry in the in 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 a box or a, you know in a metal container what about mm-hmm. and you're going to have it you know after some hours mm. in your office when yeah. the lunch time comes yeah. so you can do one thing keep banana leaf inside your container and put the cook put the cooked food hot inside and close it again it can luxury. become cold again a luxury what luxury where do we get banana leaves these days If there is a way there is a way <laughs> yeah you cannot you i mean cannot, small sacrifices if, if 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 i decide to do it okay. and if banana leaf is going to be found only on the top of the everest in himalaya You'll i will go every day and take it and come <laughs> okay i have the shoulder power right yeah you cannot turn around and tell me where we like get it where do you i'm just talking about the general lot of us you know not just me specifically hmm. but yeah point taken i mean we need to find via media to reduce the damage that is true hmm. so yeah so now we are stuck in a sense like you cannot take raw vegetable salads because this well, you know uh, agricultural scenario has become so crazy Toxic. there's so much of pesticides are spray so if you are going to eat raw vegetables like salads hmm. and you're going to invite travel oh god and fruits there's so much of chemical spray on it in every part of the world even in africa to increase the shelf life to give better color to the fruits so what does one do you know papayas got good shelf life but still they spray you know why they want the papaya <laughs> to look yellow and nice how do you like that and that's what even watermelon is with sugar everything watermelon is a fruit which you should never eat right oh why it's the most dangerous see every component in nature Mm-hmm. like if you take tomatoes or onions or fruits and vegetables and you know potatoes and watermelon pumpkins and all that they have their own inbuilt microorganisms okay in billions and billions and billions okay if you take a tomato it has billions and billions of microorganisms inbuilt like us this world belongs to the microorganism not yours so how do we know which one to take which one not to use why one- because that we are cooking that's why we are cooking cooking what cooking to destroy ah. destroy the microbes yeah. which they don't want we, we don't want them inside okay and then the nature is kept your gut your stomach you know how it has kept it it has kept it in an acidic condition mm. Mm. there are certain levels of acidic condition always in the stomach the lactobacillus inside will survive mm. because they are used to that acidic condition yeah. in case in cooking some of the microorganisms not dead and they survive and they have to come in through your food into your stomach in the acidic condition they will die okay you got the point now okay beyond that if he has to escape and go to the intestines and get absorbed and come to you know come into the portal vein into the liver mm. liver will kill it oh. he will not allow okay make sure that the microorganisms will not spread in so the microorganism built inside mm-hmm. watermelon is dangerous for us is not good for us why is it before why? 1960 there was no watermelon was grown cultivated and sold wow okay you can't believe it yeah and today under the commercialism they sell anything and everything without knowing what it is this is what is the studies studies i was doing exploring 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 the facts around you the nature's facts around you You don't get this in any qualification, in any curriculum, in any university. No, never. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, what if, like you said, if I have, like, until the age of eighteen, I have eaten junk food, I have eaten watermelon, I have eaten things like that. No, like, like you would in, in your basically in your house they would have given some t- pattern of breakfast, South Indian breakfast, mm-hmm. and then you know your normal lunch is rice base. Yeah. You know, maybe in the nights you will have again have uh, rice base or. you know uh, uh, whatever that idli chapati whatever mm. so you stick to that food yeah local local produce yeah right okay okay with your friends you would have gone around for some party in the school and had the burgers and pizzas and all that stuff yes yeah once in a way you can have it you have no 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 this thing no but harm. but then but then the most important stuff that one has to follow is an exercise yeah you you better exercise you, you know you need physical movements right the, the physical organism needs certain movements like if you go to it is like this if you go to you know uh, interestingly you want to go on buy a cycle buy a cycle use it for a few weeks a few months mm-hmm. and then you know one day you get bored and you junk it out mm-hmm. you know just park it there and is lying there mm-hmm. after 6 months if you come and touch it 
It'll it's rust. gone. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. It's what's happening to you if you're not going to exercise. Okay, interesting point. Yeah, nobody exercises. You tell me one thing. Yes. What is the quality time you spend for your physical friend on ah. a daily basis? Nothing. No, I do. Uh, no, basically. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about most of them. Yeah. I know you are a smart girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nobody it, does it. Yeah, it does take a lot of effort to get that. Nobody one does it. Everybody has fallen into sedentary lifestyle. Yes. And we are facing one problem now. You know what? We are eating more. Oh. We are eating very very high. Uh, in terms because of eating, 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 eating is when you when you are into sedentary lifestyle. Mm. You get the cravings. Eating, eating is the best form of killing your time. Time pass. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what you are eating. You just keep seeing TV. You just keep on munching. munching. You just keep on drinking some juice and the tea and coffee. And the average sugar intake of a human in Kashmir in America at the turn of 1900s mm-hmm. was four pounds per year. Okay. At the turn of 2000, it was 124 pounds per year. Ah, oh, scary. Ah. So in direct correlation. So India is also ranking one of the highest for diabetes. Correct. In See, diabetes is inevitable because of many reasons. One of the major reason is the Fertilized base agriculture of grains. You have research papers on that. So where do we go now? Like you see, like when you said locally produced, also no doctor. Exercise. Nandu. Exercise. Okay, so all you right. can eat even brick. <laughs> all right. Nothing will happen to you. That's what I do. Okay. Okay, I am sixty-five years of age. The kind of exercise I do, I do. If a thirty-year-old guy has to do without a practice, at the age of thirty, he will die. <laughs> His his heart will tear apart. He'll 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 land in cardiac arrest and he'll be he'll be dying on the floor. Ouch! Yeah, definite. Okay. World record is two hundred and sixteen skips per minute. Mm-hmm. That's what the Guinness Guinness Book of World Records says. Mm-hmm. You know, even now at this age, mm-hmm. I can make two hundred and forty. I can I do eight skips for every two seconds. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, okay. you can see that in my exercising video. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can I can do two forty now. I can tomorrow morning I can break the record. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. And that's what keeps you going. Yes. That's what keeps you going because the amount of dirt coming in, in inside your body through the food, mm. the lung, liver, and the kidneys cannot eliminate many of the components. Okay, that's scary. Okay. Yeah. And your sweating will eliminate. Okay. Right from body protein onwards. Oh. That's going to be uh, very interesting. That's why you must stick to your exercising. Papa, don't turn around and tell me where do I have the time. We have to. I am busy with this. I am busy with that. I am busy with my work and all that stuff. Mm. Okay, you 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 can be however busy you are, but you are supposed to keep your mission good. Yes. And if your mission is going to fail tomorrow, and you know, even if you want to work, you can't work. Correct. And if you want to get into the medical fraternity nowadays, into any 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 hospitals, mm-hmm. you are gone. I know. They are going to rip you open. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. They are going to milk all the money from you because you know the hospital scenarios have become very expensive. You cannot blame them. Yeah. The establishment, the real estate, the salaries, the kind of machines they buy for diagnostics and all that is very high. They have cost. They, they, they invested so much of money. They have taken so much of loan. You know. Yeah. They have to run it. True. And, and, and it has gone. You have to pay the price for it. True. If you want quality medication for you. Yeah. So it's better to lay, stay healthy Absolutely. without going inside the hospital. Oh yes. So for which food and nutrition play the role? Yes. You cannot go some eat some you know like cook in the morning and food in the fridge and eat in the you know, all that kind of thing is crazy. Mm. Fresh cooked food should be taken hot then and there and forgotten. Balanced food is there. You know, don't try to reheat it and have it. You know, go and give it to the dogs outside. That's There's a nice. So many doggies are waiting yes. for some food. We should also look at community animals. Ah. They are our community animals. Yeah, we are doing one. Yes. So. Uh, and what else you have food and nutrition question? I think it's a long out session already. We can take out probably more. I mean, I would like to talk about. You want to talk about various diet patterns? Yes, and also vegetarian, non-vegetarian. How it affects people. Yeah, we'll people. continue that in the next session. Yeah, all these things. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So meanwhile, people eat local, exercise more, find some time. I was also a victim of this. It took me about three, four months of psyching my mind to find out the time, but. It's worth it once you find it. Let's look for healthier tomorrow. Thank you. Bye from both of us. From listen to the Blue Horse.